the head of man is what? Is Christ. And the head of every woman is what? So man is an authority figure. Man is what? Over a woman. Why Christ is the authority figure over a man. So a woman must cover her head does not simply mean you must tie gaily on top. You must adore, decorate, protect yourself with the authority that proceeds from what? From a man. But this man must be God's choice. It's not just any man. Because any man is not fit to your destiny. Sisters, are you hearing me? To those of you who have not married, any man is not fit to this your life. Because if you marry any man, he will still use that authority against you. The authority is for you. If I have AK-47 in my house, it's not to kill my wife. Yes or no? It's to kill outsiders. But that power I have, if I am not a correct man, I will firstly use the authority against the woman. So we have a lot of men that use authority to limit their wives. They use what? Any man that uses authority to limit a woman is because it's not a correct man. A woman is not a drug, drug, um, rottweiler that you have to chain her down and give her some small food so that she can eat back a man and die. So therefore, it was God who was responsible to bring the woman to man. And so we can trace a man to Christ, but we must trace a woman to what? We must trace a woman to because the man is the authority figure over a woman, what Christ. So man is going to give a direct account to Christ how he manages the woman. Hallelujah. Now that you have married, and that we are not perfect as well. Amen. But we are growing. A, a, a man that is not growing is the most dangerous man. You can find an imperfect man that is having a growing nature. But if a man is not growing up, it's a serious issue. 